And then I, I was asked to come out to MGM and um, they cast me in the first movie I did with Elvis Presley as his leading lady. First day of shooting, I'm on the set. And best way I can describe it is you just, you just, something was happening and I didn't know what it was. And everybody kind of stopped and I looked over and from that end of the sound stage, it was Elvis and he was walking in. He wasn't doing anything, he was walking in. And the presence that this man had, um, it just, you couldn't talk, you couldn't, nobody did anything, you just sort of stopped and watched him. And I remember thinking, oh my God, it's Elvis Presley. <laughs> but when that guy would walk in a room, you could feel his, his presence there, whether you could see him or not. And it was a charisma, I guess you call it. And uh, you didn't even have to feel that he was in the building, but you knew someone in that building was there and it had to be an important guy, you know? Like I say, you couldn't put your finger on it, why it happened. Actually, you don't really meet Elvis, uh -huh. you actually just look at Elvis. <laughs> I just remember at one point being in a room and we were all in this room, my mother and the singers, and we, they, you, know, the, you know, the usually backstage kind of thing. And, oh my God. and he just walks in, he says something, and everybody just, you don't say anything, you just look. <laughs> It was just one of those moments I won't forget as a kid. Oh my it wasn't God. like, hi, Mr. Elvis, nice to meet you. You didn't do that. You just sat back and just just looked at him. Amazing. It was yeah. Just amazing. Wow. And just to be in his presence was awesome. When he walked in, everybody kind of backed up a step. Wow. That's Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, I would, it shocked me that it, that it, that it affected me. That Elvis, uh, when he came into the room, he... I don't know, there was just something special about him, you know, he had other people who described it as an aura. When, um, you know, he would walk into a room and your back was to him, you knew it. You knew he was there because of the aura in the room. When I first met him, the charisma was unbelievable. He sends off, he sends off something I can't really ex explain, you know, if we work an 18,000 seater, his, his feeling was all the way to the back row, yeah. up in a up in a balcony, and it just was. It it's a whole other it's a whole other kind of thing. And then the third time I met him was when he came to uh, America Studios. You know, we pretty much knew when he was back parking lot. Uh, that's how much charisma he had. And uh, when he came in the back door, everybody pr pretty much choked. You know, when I started touring with him, I did over a thousand concerts with those. But every show had its a huge, it had a large amount of electricity. You knew something was happening when you were in the building. In fact, Colonel Parker once told me, his manager, I said, this is just, these concerts are unreal. And he said, David, it's not just a concert, it's a historical event.